Hello everyone, my name is Ema and welcome back to my channel or two if you are new and today I am filming five romance books that I love but never talk about. If I got one thing right, it was you and me. So this video is actually inspired by Mafalda is reading. I'll link her video down below. She did 10 books that she loves that she never talks about and I wanted to do the same. I also think she's inspired from somebody so if I can remember who I'll have that link down below as well. But I rarely do recommendations on my channel. That is definitely something that I would like to do more of. I just realized there's so many romance books. I was going through my Goodreads red list. So many romance books that I love with my whole heart and just don't think about don't really talk about it ever on my channel so that's what we're doing today i hope you guys enjoy and let's get right into this video so the first book that i want to recommend is actually a series and when i read this guys i literally read it all night the first book and then i kept going i read this book in literally one sitting i had school the next morning but i did not care i just wanted to finish it this is a crown point series by mary Catherine gebbard there's actually four books in the series but the first one is really irrelevant i didn't even read that one i skipped to the second one and that one is called Stolen Soulmate. And it's basically, it was like a rich family with a bunch of servants living in their house. And they live in a, like a castle, a manor type of place. That's the part that's kind of confusing me because I'm pretty sure it takes place in present day, but they live in a castle. I, I don't know. But basically we have our main hero, Grayson, and he is promised to another girl. She's another, she's a girl, a part of another wealthy family. He's been in love with her, but also they've been having complications with the relationship. They're both just kind of forced to be together. So one day our heroine's story is walking down the hall, doing her job. She's a servant there. Out of nowhere, she just gets pulled into this dark closet. And then Grayson Crown is all up in her grill kissing her. Grayson thinks that she's the girl that he's expecting, but little does she know that she is not. And from there, the relationship kind of develops. He kind of hates her. He's being really mean towards her. Also kind of infatuated with her. He just feels really connected to story. And so he has her moving out of the quarters that she is in and into his bedroom. And they just develop a really good friendship, but also it's them lusting after each other and wanting each other, but they can't do that. And so there's so much more that goes into the series. I really, really enjoy it. I hope you guys too. Let me know if you read it and let me know if you will read it. The next book that I love that I never talk about is Puppy Me Secretly by Odetta Stone. I love this one when I read it. I literally, all, most of these I've read in one sitting just letting you know because I was that sucked in I was that consumed it's about this girl who is on a plane on her way back home she has to move back home and live with her parents on the plane she's sitting next to this really cute guy knows nothing about him was so with the sudden turn of events the plane starts to crash it starts to go down and our heroine is freaking out she doesn't know what to do she starts telling this guy all her secrets and just getting so much stuff off her chest and she tells him she's never had the big O. Um, if you know what the big O is, you know. I'm not going to say it. My family watches my videos. And I will be mortified. He is kind of like, okay, if we make it out of this alive, I will give you the big O. He out alive. And they go have to stay in a hotel. And he has to fall through with his promise. So he gives her the big O. And they go on their separate ways, never talking again. Never speaking again. Two days later, I'm just making up a number in my head. I don't know. She has to start working for her father. Her father is a famous hockey team's coach. And so she's kind of working as a team assistant. She does not expect to see the guy from the plane who gave her the big O on the team. They want to start a relationship. But also, it has to be kind of secret because, again, she's the coach's daughter. So much fun. So juicy. Loved it. The next book that I love that I never talk about is Dirty Headlines by LJ Shen. Although I do talk about LJ Shen a lot, I don't particularly talk about this book. I love this book. It's probably one of my favorites of her standalones. It's basically about this girl and she lives in New York. She's very poor. She just found out that her boyfriend was cheating on her. She decides to go out and eat and have fun and a guy notices her and he wants her. And so they hook up and it's supposed to be a one night stand. Again, she's poor, so she ends up stealing his wallet. Um, after they're done hooking up. I never talk again for several months. She starts a new job at one of the United States' cable news networks, like CNN, but like a fake CNN. Little does she know, the guy that she hooked up with, stole the wallet of, is her new boss. And so it's so fun. 
you guys know if you've watched me that is like my dream job i don't know how i am dealing with that right now i'm kind of looking for other options but that is my dream job i am a freshman in college so i have some time but that is literally what i want to do i want to be a reporter i feel like even if you don't want to be a reporter it would still be so much fun it's literally so much fun guys like steamy scenes lj shen never misses she never misses it was so fun he's it was so angsty he was so mean and i love it i love this book it's definitely one of my favorites the next book that i want to talk to you guys about is fake it till you break it by megan brandy this is my this is the first megan brandy book that i've ever read and then i moved on to her like series but this is a standalone called fake it till you break it, it goes with demi and nico demi is this very popular girl she has tons of friends she's super sweet super nice but she has everything she wants except for the guy that she wants and so she's kind of trying to get this guy's attention a lot and he just won't pay attention to her he sees her as a friend and only a friend but we have Nico. Nico notices that Demi's trying to get this guy. And I can't remember if it was Demi's idea or Nico's idea, but they decide to fake date in order to get this guy's attention. Although Nico has some feelings for Demi, he still wants to help out with her. We, it was never clear why he wanted to help her out, but I loved it. It was so angsty. It was so cute just having her realize like, hey, I don't want the guy that I'm doing all this for. I want the guy who's doing it with me. And it was so cute, so fun. It's new adult, takes place in high school. I loved it. And the last book that I want to talk to you guys about is actually a series and that is the Off Campus series by Elle Kennedy. I read this series about like two years ago and I fell in love with it. This is like the first series that I read after after and that kind of sucked me into the real like published romance authors and books because after after I was reading just Wattpad books, you know, so I read this fell in love with it and I binged the whole series this one in particularly is one of my favorites in the series the deal so the deal is about this girl named Hannah and this guy named Garrett they both go to the same university and I'm pretty sure they have a class together. Garrett is actually failing the class and Hannah is the only person in the class with an A. And so what happens is they kind of strike up a deal. She tutored Garrett in exchange for sex. And so what basically happens is Hannah is unable to have the big O. And that is because of things that happened in her past. She's unable to have an orgasm. He's kind of helping her with this and then she's helping him with the tutoring. I love this series. It was so cute. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. Especially this book. The next book is The Mistake. Then it's The Score and then is The Goal. And I love it. It's a companion novel series with each of the boys in the friend group. They have their own story. They're all on the hockey team. But this one holds a special place in my heart just because I literally read this right after after and it took me places. I loved it. It's just so much fun. I don't really talk about this series though just because I feel like so many people know about it. If you don't know about it, now you do. Read the deal. And yeah, that's basically why I don't talk about it just because it's so popular. But I love this so much. I definitely want to do a reread pretty soon. That wraps up five romances that I love that I never talk about. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys found some books that you would want to check out. Definitely check out all of these. These are some of my favorites. And yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. It truly, truly helps me out. And all of my links will be down below. That includes my Instagram, my Twitter, my Goodreads. Also have my Amazon wishlist down below as well if you're interested in that. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye! If I got one thing right, it was you